here. So we got a lot of abilities and X factors in the game next year. I'm going to go through, break down which ones I like, which ones to look at, um, and kind of, you know, what, what you can do for your team. So they have a lot of introductory here. The most important thing to say, all right, so there's two things, right? Your overall. If you had 80 overall, you can have one tier one ability. If you're at 85, you can have a tier two and a tier one ability. And tier three and 90 overall, you can have, sorry, 90 overall, you can have tier three, tier two, and tier one. Now, you will have to only have one of each of those until you hit higher, higher, higher overall. So, for example, if you hit 93 overall, you can have a tier cho two choice instead of that tier one choice. All right? And 99 overall, you can have all two choices being tier three. Get it? If you don't, rewind and let's do it again because I explain it flawlessly as that is my content on this fucking YouTube channel. All right, so um, line up. This is how you activate. You need to activate your X Factors 2 and your ability guys. So make sure and actually have them active when you put them in your team. Um, I want to go through all this hubbub, whatever. You can read it yourself. I want to go through the actual abilities. Now, there's a couple, couple of times you can read it here. Or you can download their spreadsheet, and their spreadsheet spread cheeks all over my desktop. So that's where we're gonna go. Anyways, here's a short description. There's a lot of like breakdowns and shit here. If you want to see what you actually need for each overall, um, the, again, click on it in that blog, which I'll link in the description to get this spreadsheet. But I'm not gonna go through the spreadsheet because there's a ton of things here, um, and it's it's something that we kind of gotta take in over the coming days as we get prepped for Madden 20. Um, this is pass lead elite extend your pass lead so they got a short description and the long description so you can you basically in the beta this was glitched so tom brady and drew Brees, when you pass led they pass led too far and became incomplete they said they fixed it so hopefully it's glitchy i like that my pocket passers can compete with mobile quarterbacks pocket lead extend the pass lead when inside the pocket cool set feet um, extend the pass lead when the, the QB's feet are set. So basically three things doing the same thing. Awesome. I love it. Called bureaucracy. Red zone dead eye. Perfect pass accuracy in the red zone. Neat. Except for high and low pressure. And uh, high lows and under pressure. Remember that. Except for those things. In the long description. Cool. Perfect pass accuracy on the run. Here's the thing. If I get these abilities on my quarterback, I'm never throwing an incomplete pass. I've never made a bad read in my life. You guys are, are gonna fear me in twenty. I will. I will thunder roll your ass up. Pocket dead eye. Perfect pass accuracy when inside the pocket. What if? What if uh, the pocket that we're in is in your mom's? All right. I'll stop with the jokes. I'm sorry. I shouldn't do that. Perfect pass accuracy on crossbody throws. So they got a lot of pass accuracy shit. Pass accuracy. I think. I think these pass accuracies they will matter more early in the year. But later in the year, once we get to like the July, February, Ultimate Legend type of quarterbacks, or even Super Bowl playoff quarterbacks, this stuff will be so underpowered, it won't even really be u uh, use. Like, I mean, we'll miss some of them, but like, early in the season, this is going to be great. But I can see these things fading out long term, which there that's not necessarily a bad thing, just something I want to say up front as a thing that's going to happen. More time in the pocket by engaged blocker. This protected one was so good on Tom Brady in the beta, I really loved it. All right? Loved it. Safety valve. Running backs always catch one open. Do running backs drop the ball now? I'm really concerned that they, they included drops into this game just so they can include abilities to make them catch the ball. I'm super concerned that's a thing. Because there's a few of these that say blank will never drop an open pass. It's like, well, they didn't really drop it that much last year. With the exception of, like, animation issues. If you're saying you solved animation issues with abilities, I'd be like, well, why don't you just solve them with the proper animations triggering? I don't know. Hot Route Master. Um, love it. Four additional hot routes. Cool. So that's the QB one. There are also wide receiver hot route master. So this one I know was on Brady in the beta, and, and that was powerful as hell. Gunslinger. Uh, this will be interesting to see next year because I know they, they increase the arc of passes so that way they aren't picked off as well. Um, if Gunslinger lowers the arc again, um, instead of just throwing speed, if it lowers the arc and starts hitting them, that was kind of like a natural balance to Gunslinger. If that doesn't lower the arc, if it just increases the throwing speed, it's kind of like just adding throw power onto a card. And if you add throw power, um, so the fast passing animation is one thing. That's really cool. The, the, the animation gets too quicker. We saw that was confirmed. But the pass speed is something like, can it go over 99, right? So if you put Gunslinger on a 99 pa throw power quarterback, does the pass actually get faster than that, or is that still capped? Um, so that would be interesting to test out later in the year. 
uh, when that's available. And you probably do that in CFM right off the beginning of the bat. Anchored extender. Breaks first sack attempt in the pocket. Um, yeah. Agile. Breaks first sack attempt in the pocket. Made by defender. This is so weird. So Agile extender, it's different. It's different in this spreadsheet than in the description here. So let's go to the description here. Because in, in the description here, it says by a defensive back. So they don't have it matched up. Uh, a little bit of inconsistency I'm concerned about, EA. Get with your shit. Uh, oh, shit. Did we just get raided? Hey, Swang Gates. Thanks for raiding. Sorry. I'm, do I'm recording a YouTube video. We're also on Twitch at the same time. We thought we'd double dip with the content. Uh, so I'm uh, a little concerned. But yeah, Swings. How you doing? Thanks for protecting the dead, guys. About Agile de uh, being different. So some clarification will be needed. Because that seems like very powerful if you break the first attempt of the sack. Because breaking the attempt of anybody... It's fucking awesome. Breaking it down to just DBs, it'll just work against like the nickel blitz meta. So, weird. Sleight of hand, impacts defenders with pump fake. Jitcha! That's like... Ben, I tried this, I tried the, I, I, I really tried to make this work during the beta with Roethlisberger. With Roethlisberger, I didn't see anything, right? This shit did nothing for me. Like, double moves still work against man coverage, but it's not like you're gonna fake out a zone. It, or it, you would fake out a zone, but it, I wasn't able to make it work. So it feels like Sleight of Hand is super underpowered. Unless they buff it before launch, I don't think this is something you should go for. Last ditch. Can't throw out of, can throw out of sacks. Neat, I guess. Throw more in, uh, incompletions. Escape Artist. Uh, um, elite Speed and Responsiveness. We saw this Mahomes. It was really nice, you know. It made him uh, cut and get out of the pocket really nice. Fast Break. Elite Movement at Quarterback and Running Plays. Yeah, love it. QB option. We'll see if the QB option, power, that kind of stuff's back next year. It was okay. It was pretty good from time to time in 19. Uh, doesn't It's not quite as good as like QB rat back in uh, 25 or anything, but options and quarterback runs, solid still. Q, uh, I think, well, QB power was really good at, what, 18 or 17? Uh, clutch. Easier to get and stay in the zone late in close games. Cool. The, the classic Tom Brady's. Indoor baller. Uh, I don't like this inside the the zone in the domes because only, it only works. So you have to have a dome home stadium. It only works half the time. And getting in the zone is still it's still a little finicky. It is what it is, though. Uh, Homer. Easy to get in the zone in the home stadium. So, solid. Conductor. Let's make the adjustments. Unfortunately, it's not as good as in the, the beta where it's four adjustments. Now it's only twice. It's only two adjustments, just like 19 had. Inside Deadeye. Firm pack accuracy on inside throws. Which weird is... Inside dead eye here is the exact opposite of once again. Inside dead eye here. Well, let me see. Let me see. Um. Outside the numbers, I'm guessing it's inside the numbers and the spreadsheet's correct, but I don't know how that transition gets wrong. How is that made wrong? Who fucked that up? I'm I'm a little concerned on that one. Uh, like, do they not look over these things that well? I'm a little concerned about their... Where did, where did I lose it? There it is. Inside the numbers. I'm a little concerned about their QA. Little, little concerned. Uh, identifier. Yeah, we know what identifier is. Human joystick. This one looks like the greatest one. Increase agility as a ball carrier. Where, uh, the, the blog has a much better description for this. Basically, it's really, it's really easy to move with your thumbstick. Kind of like the Dante Hall... Uh, type of movement where you just absolutely back and forth. It'd be cool if Dante Hall's in the game next year. Uh, they clearly didn't have anyone go over this. Yeah, so it's 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 sad to see that we're getting mixed information from literally the same source in the same blog. Leapfrog excels at the hurdle. Jimmy Jump is back. Woo! Uh, jukebox that the juke was so good. Stiff arm was good in the beta. Uh, spin move wasn't that good. We'll see what the spin cycle does next year. Um, if it if it fucks up the spin move like it did in nineteen. Truck move, solid, love it, pretty easily said. Auto stumble recovery, balance beam, so they just renamed, never stumble. Bruiser, more powerful truck and stiff arm animations. I wonder if Bruiser's as good as uh, Bulldozer and Armbar combined, or if it's like better but not as powerful. So you kind of got to like, do I want a, a combo 
that's slightly better or one specialization that's much better. I hope it's the much better. You know what I mean? I hope the, the specializations are much better than the, the combos. Uh, fast animations for spin and jukes for evasive. Gutsy scrambler. This one's for me. They named it. They told me they named it after me. After me. Uh, that That's confirmed by sources. Gutsy scrambler. Immune to pressure while throwing anyone. I am very I am very chill under pressure. You'll, you'll never see me get angry or jaded or salty at all. I am the most calm person on Twitch and on YouTube. You'll never get me fucking tilted. What the fuck did you say to me, chat? Little bitch! Get him out of here! Alright, gift wrapped. Um, higher chance to complete the passes to uncover targets. Alright, cool. Gift wrapped would be cool for like these really poor accuracy quarterbacks early in the year. QB Playmaker. I hate it. I hate it. I hope it dies in a fire and they didn't kill it. We gave them feedback. We gave them feedback during... After the beta. We gave them feedback once they talked about Playmaker. Remove it from the game! And what did they do? They stuck it in there anyways. They fucking... They raped us. They Playmaker raped us. We didn't want them to stick it in there, but they did it anyways. Why Why can't they remove it? The community didn't want it. Who wants Playmaker in the game? 80% of the community doesn't love it. 80% of the community hates it. You will get those small minority voices, the 20% that hate, that, that love it, but like, most of the community understands the OP-ness of Playmaker. And the only, re only reason we use it is because you have to. Or else you're dumb. For not using such an overpowered fucking technique. Fox, did they say if they can upload more than 20 items at the time of the auction house? No, they didn't mention anything about the auction house or trade block. Pin and pull. Excels at toss pitch counter plays. Great. Can I get a force defender that does his job too? Inside zone guru. Inside zone plays. Awesome. Outside zone plays. Makes sense. Balance beam. Auto sub recovery. We just went over that one. So they double timed us. RB apprentice four additional hot routes for the running back backfield mismatch we saw that in the beta in the um hey thanks michael Vero. um pff, the fuck did he just sub to to put up his mcs profile god damn someone time him out human joystick why are they repeating is this fucking groundhog's day do i look like bill murray to you i am not funny he is funny all right this ain't groundhog's day stop making me act it out backfield mat Backfield master. More hot routes and improved catching for the backfield. All right, cool. So mismatch and master are different. Grab and go. Excels at rat catches. Awesome. Peen and pull. <laughs> peen, peen, peen. Uh, slot machine. Reliable target in the slot. All right. We saw that in the beta. We saw um, the talk about that. Route technician. Excels at cut moves when running routes. Cool. Wide receiver. Wow, there's a shit ton of them. Holy fuck. It's too bad they're repeating so many of them. Takes a long time to get through them. Slot Apprentice. Didn't we? Oh, slot Machine and Slot Apprentice are different. Four additional hot slots. All right, cool. So Apprentices are the hot route ones, right? Excels at streak routes. What does that even mean? Do they just get an increased chance at catching the ball? I'm like, uh, throw it up. Hi, I'm here for four weeks. I'm not kind of before WoW Classic. Well, I'm not still pretty names. Hey, what's up, Alpha? How you doing, bud? Pulse Specialist, In Specialist. These are pretty self-explanatory. Pulse Flag. Better route running, catching on post and corner routes. Wait, post slash corner routes. Sharper routes and catching what cuts is it? Like, is there, like I said before, is it going to be the same as a combination of post and the flag? You know what I mean? Or is it going to be slightly less powerful than just the post? In and out specialist, that's what uh, Foxy names me. Curl comeback, I mean, it's the same thing, right? Hot routes, playmaker, I hate it. Thank you. It's the worst. Send it back. Streak specialist, yeah, we're going streaking. Out corner, cool. In post, route. So basically, all the routes get double timed up and combined. Whatever it is, it is it is combo different. Not a big deal. Probably like a tier two thing then, since tier one's probably the single. Tier two will be those. Makes the most sense to me. Secure protector. We'll see if it works this year. It didn't work at all last year. Um, I, I wonder if they have looked at it at all. But yeah, that shit was ass last year. Under pressure. That was, that was okay last year. Power specialist, power pass rush, finesse specialist. We'll see how much those matter versus the actual stats. It's weird that they put these these specialists out there. Like, does this just add extra, like, percentage chance to win? Does it add extra stats into the card? Like, once I get a card at a 99 power move, does this actually help them? These are questions I have, and I hope that they answer. Edge rush specialist, cool. Like, does this differ than the power specialist? Or finesse specialist? 
Or, or like, what's the win percent chance difference right there? It's time for a little little in and out. Oh yeah, that's a that's a great um, reference to Clockwork Orange. Reach elite. Reach tackles out of engaged blocks. Huh. So he's engaged, but he's still reaching for me. Sounds like I need to call him out to his fiance. Mm. Shame, shame. But yeah, we, we saw that a lot last year. Like when you, when you get suctioned into a fucking uh, defender, I hated that. Looks like it'll be powerful. I wonder if it'll be powerful next year too, or if maybe it's just like the same thing and everybody's got that reach specialist because everybody reaches for you still and sucks you in. It's like it's like mutt sucks you in. Excels at strip tackles. I excel at strip poker. I've never won. Enforcer, stick, hit stick, faked out by ball carriers, unfakeable, secure tackler. Uh, we've had these things in the past. Pass rush elite. So this is a pass rush elite must just be like the uh, like a tier two, tier three ability. Are you gonna make a, a, a video? I'm currently making a video with all this content. Edge rush, run stuffer, tackle supreme. So tackle supreme combines secure tackler and unfakeable. Interesting. So that'll be like a tier three. That's kind of cool. Lurker, spec catch ability and defense. So this is what we hate. This is this is the worst thing about 19 with uh, jump picks. But you're going to basically have to have that on your card if you're going to use them, right? Everyone else is the winner when Fox plays strip poker? Lol. Yeah, uh, the streak specialist might be OP. We'll see how the chance changes for catching it. Man up. That's kind of cool. Knockout. So, so maybe man up and zoned out are the counters to like those specialists where they can just spec catch over you. Wins versus any receiver cut in route running and forces knockouts when a man. Oh, what? Dude, that is so... F Are you kidding me? It beats receivers cuts. Dude, no. So you can basically call man up and you'll be able to, you'll be able to beat cuts on like slants, on posts, on zigs, corners. Dude, that might be overpowered, but we'll see... I guess we'll see. I'm concerned if man up is super powerful. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll we don't know. Um, forces the knockouts when in zone coverage. Cool. Like if somebody throws to your cor cornerback in zone coverage, if somebody throws near your cornerback, it should just always knock it out, right? Like if they're throwing into bad coverage, knock that shit out. Universal coverage combines man up and zoned out. Oh my god. Combines pick six and pick specialist. All right, so these are like higher tier. Acrobat. I just saw the acrobat. Isn't where like you jump and you you miss it with a swat. We all got that animation in 19 and it fucking annoyed me because it just run for touchdown then. So what if it actually gets a swat when it happens. Versus any receiver cuts, yeah. Man everything up, yeah. Cover two man equals GG. Even maybe like cover one or cover zero, man. If you can stop every single cut. If double moves don't work on you, cover zero man every single fucking play. You can just cover zero blitz every play if, if cuts don't work on you. That's that's how like nervous I am for that. That could just destroy this online game. You'd have to like run that entire fucking time. But then they have a man blitz against you, and what can you run on that? Excels at diving swats and catches. All right, cool. Focus kicker, clutch kicker, we got that. Um, so acrobats, diving swats and catches. Yeah, we talked about that one. All right, X-Factor abilities. You know, we, we know most of these, um, but I don't really care about the X-Factors that much, right? They don't really trigger that much, but well, I guess we'll go through them while we got them. I hate the miss swat. Yeah, it's the worst. Gambler can't be intercepted by AI defenders. I heard if you get two incompletions in a row, they get out of it. So you can't just throw it every into coverage and stuff. But that would be good for solo battles. Uh, but they, again, you have to actually get into the zone. Fearmonger, we talked, we saw that with Aaron Donald. So I'm not gonna go over that. That one's crazy. Good pressure there. Pro reads. This one was fucking ass in the beta. I'm not worried about highlighting open receivers. It just didn't really work uh, because the open receiver was oftentimes covered. Blitz radar, extra blitzers after the snap is, is uh, ball is snapped. Uh, some people said it's good, but I feel like this is just something somebody should have as a skill, right? You first read, you snap the ball, you should be able to recognize pressures coming at your ass. So, I guess I'll try it out, but I'm not that concerned that's going to be overpowered. Maybe I'm wrong. Bazooka, again, I, I, I didn't think my, this was the overpowered part of my homes at all, Bazooka. It, like I said, these rarely triggers. We get mutt we get mutt ratings. Yeah, mutt ratings are on uh, mutt head right now. Double me, win aggressive catch for a single coverage. Yeah, I mean, if somebody's letting up on an X factor, you're gonna have to pay special attention to them. I love, the, I love that as a part of like the strategy of the game. 
Rack them up. Wins rack catches where single coverage. Yeah, if you're if you're in the zone, the defense has to adjust to that. They got to take. They, you have to force them out of the zone. Max security, high success rate on possession catches. I don't know what high success rate means, but all right, we're just chucking into coverage now. But like like we saw it in the beta, when you get in the zone, you're already winning, so it's already over, right? Like these things are just kind of icing on the cake. Shit's already out of hand. Shut down tighter coverage and more interceptions on contested catches. Good. Contested catches should not be rewarded by incompletions. Running gun. Can't be intercepted by AI while throwing on the run. Sure. Isn't that the same thing, just worse than Gambler? Yeah, that's just worse than Gambler. Fearless. Throw accuracy is unaffected by defensive pressure. Hmm, that's a decent. High success rate in X3 trucks or stiff arms. That's high. I like that. Uh, what's up, Chaz? Oh, thanks for the bits, Chaz. Excited about the game? Yeah. Yeah, me too, bud. High fake out rate on X juke spinner hurdle. Fuck yeah. Pass rush wins lead to quicker block shedding. Good. Good, good, good. Take them out. Gain 10 yards. Take them out of the zone. More catch knockouts and interception in zone coverage. Like, like this shit just should, should happen, right? This should go back to Madden 17. Like, you throw it in coverage, you're getting shit swatted out. Wins rack and possession catches versus single coverage. Double them up. Higher chance to defeat run box and disrupt catches. Hell yeah. Increased chance to break the next tackle, break train, and block shedding versus more right normal. But yeah, it's pretty straight. I mean, these are pretty straightforward. I don't have I don't I really honestly don't have a problem with X Factor abilities. I know this is everybody's biggest issue with the game is people like lighting up and going into the zone, but deal with it, right? Counter it. We'll see. Of course, I want to say I'll say this now, somebody's gonna clip it. But if the game gets imbalanced, if any one of these things start causing issues, if it becomes too easy to get it, sure, then you need to nerf it. But right now, I'm more concerned about a lot of these things up here, the abilities, than I am with the X Factor abilities. And it's only on three players, so you can kind of know who to kind of like, you know, watch out for the abilities. I just don't know if, uh, I don't know if like maybe everyone will go with like just like the D line uh, abilities and X Factors and kind of like triple up there and then have like an insane three-man pass rush drop eight guys in coverage that might be terrible so it, it really depends on like because as players we like to min max we like to get the most for the least amount so like being able to kind of get a great pass rush with such little um kind of resources dedicated to it uh unless you're then that's kind of terrible but like there becomes like a meta of this thing. Like, so if everybody's putting on the D line, then people have to put like secure protector on the O line to stop it. Then you don't get the offensive ability. So it's kind of cool that like th people will have counters out there and, and should there should be such hard counters in football where like, say if I go my X factors, I'm a quarterbacks and wide receivers and like other guys that have like defensive backs, maybe some abilities on some linebackers or whatever, then it's kind of like evenly matched. But like, say you run against that guy that he's got three ability guys and X Factor guys in the D line. And all of a sudden, so my quarterback and wide receiver, my routes literally don't develop develop because wide receivers don't really run hard off the line of scrimmage. And I'm just getting like sack, 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 sack. And all of a sudden, like, it just becomes it's not so much a chess match as he won the game before the game booted up. And that I think could be an issue. If like something becomes that kind of meta dominant and that like like the amount of depth they put in the game is oftentimes not explored. Because the meta is focused around three plays if you want to play, stay competitive. So that is something I'm worried about here too. Is that something becomes overpowered and we realize that as a community, obviously not touching the game outside of the beta. I don't know what it is yet. Uh, I, I, we have thoughts on it, but we'll, we'll know this in a couple weeks time, maybe a month. Um, and I just feel like it gets stale. And so like all this effort they put in comes for naught if they don't end up balancing the game properly. So I think in the end... I like it. I like the abilities. I like what's going to have to happen with the X factors. And you're going to actually have to double somebody that's on fire um, or that's playing really well because that just makes sense. Like halftime adjustments in the NFL, if somebody's, doing, if somebody's going off on you, you have to adjust your game. That I'm fine with. I, it's just the game balance is my biggest concern uh, when it comes to these type of things. So that's it for this video. Hopefully it didn't take too long. It was 24 fucking minutes, and I'm sorry for that. But thanks for watching Call to Action. I'll see you tomorrow.